boyfriend buys a house without my input or consideration, claims it's for our future, then gets upset when I can't help him move due to exams and work. My boyfriend of 9 months purchased a home and said he bought it with me in mind as we have talked about a future and wanting to have a family. We have had many serious talks about our relationship and we've both met each other's families. He previously lived in a home for several years and has always thought about changing his living situation and also wasn't sure if he even wanted to stay to live in the same city. To my surprise, he went to see a house without me knowing and put in an offer. Long story short his offer was accepted and he's made comments about how he thought about this house for us eventually. I'm not sure how to feel about it, I'm really happy that he got a house he really likes and at the price he got it for. But I feel we're not there yet to move in with each other. Also, in no way did I have a say in the decision of this house or the location so I don't think him to say he got the house with me in mind is fair. He hasn't considered the commute for me to travel to work or anything that would be considered specifically to actually having me in mind. He bought this home one block away from his previous house as he will be renting out that home now, so this home by default is a great location for him overall. I'm not sure how to feel about his comments and his expectations with me and the house. Additionally, I am a student and the closing of his house happened to be the very busiest week of exams and assignments I had due. We had conversations about how I could not help him move and there seemed to be an understanding, that week consisted of working on a presentation, studying for an exam and working on a paper. Any other free time I had I invested in self-care such as working out or doing yoga. However, on one of those days I posted a selfie where I was proud to have accomplished so much in, the morning before going into work and he got extremely upset about this. He went on to say I didn't care to help him move and that I didn't want to help him move essentially and made a huge deal about it as he bought this house with me in mind. What do you think of this? Edit to give more context, the house was bought entirely with his money. I have zero financial contribution to this. We never talked about a specific time frame when I would move in. It was a discussion about how it's something we both would want eventually, we did talk about how I would contribute when that time comes, in which I mentioned expenses such as hydro, utilities, internet etc., I also made it clear that in no way was I expecting a free ride and not to contribute anything. That's just not my character. The selfie that was posted was a close-up shot of my face with sunglasses on and enjoying my coffee. I had made a list of accomplishments of tasks I did that day and wrote it in this picture. Meal prep, workout, coffee, sunshine, great way starting my day so far. Update 1. I realized that when we talked about the reality of me moving in with him, I mentioned that I could sell all my furniture but would want and need to keep my desktop computer slash desk, his response to me was that he wouldn't let me have my own room for that and to get a laptop instead. The man has an entire room dedicated to his sneakers. When I also mentioned the commute and how I'd have to pay for parking, as I take the subway to work currently, not a big deal in comparison to paying for the mortgage, but still an expense, he said there could be days he could drive me, then followed it up with but you don't ever drive me to work. He did not buy the house with me in mind at all. It's clear that this is his house and he wasn't going to share his space in any other way besides how he wanted it. We had plans for me to come over on a specific day but had also fought. I admitted and apologized the T I could have put my anger aside and came to help. However, I wanted reassurance that he understood that if I have my own priorities and we discuss this, he cannot throw it in my face and tell me I did not meet his needs. I'm not saying of course that in any in case I would not drop something for my partner in an emergency. I did not feel that he understood this. And when I tried to explain this he said that I was retracting my apology, I just kept feeling constantly misunderstood and having to defend myself in this relationship with other issues as well. That was the end of that. Better to cut it off sooner than later and before taking the relationship to the next level of commitment. It definitely sucks. And I showed him this thread in which he of course was upset, says he felt betrayed. He called me entitled as he thinks I am saying I he bought it for me, which I am not in any way. He's missing the point for this post in which I think he doesn't want to take accountability for not acknowledging he was wrong for throwing it in my face. The main point was guilt tripping and using the I bought it with you in mind response. Because clearly, even if the commute was not in mind, currently, I live in an expensive area so to not buy a house here is a valid point, the ability to actually live with him was not with me in mind. He really absolutely did not care about me as a person and my needs or even can understand what a real relationship is. He skimmed through all 565 comments and screenshotted the best ones that validated him and sent them to me to prove, he's a good guy. You slash Rhino Rev 40 her post, she only showed me this a few days ago, but for the past couple of weeks my now XGF has been curating the truth to extract as much validation as she can from this situation, and has prevented me from commenting or sharing my side. She admits that I actually said, that I bought a house with us in mind. I did say that. When I first met her, I was moving away to, LA. I had already lived in a home that was paid off for 12 years, but when I met her, I decided that maybe it's best and continue to build a life here, and should things work out, we could figure out a future together. I had been looking at the market and one day, an amazing house came on the block, for 300k less than it was a month ago. I pounced and went to see it. That night I told her I saw a place, I even sent her the photos and said, I'm going to place an offer, which I did. 
she seemed to love the place and see how much of an upgrade it would be from my current place, this is a 2M house, with 4 bathrooms, 3 bedrooms, 2 living rooms and most importantly, a garage as my cars kept getting stolen since I didn't have one at my current place. There was never mention of us moving in together right away, at the time we were together for 6 months, way way too soon. We weren't even saying I love you yet, and I did say that once actually, and she just didn't return it anyways. That being said, since we spend 95% of our time sleeping at my place when we see each other once a week, figure this would be good for us, and when it is time, we could move in together there and go from there. She loved the place, from what she said, this was supposed to be a positive. Now let's rewind though. Three months into the relationship, she asked to borrow $4,000. I was not comfortable with it, but as usual, she made herself seem so much in need, that I couldn't say no and just break up with her there, but now I realize I should have. She guilted me saying that couples have to work together and be there for each other and all that jazz. The fact is, within those first three months, I had brought her to LA while I had to be there on business and the total cost of the week that she was there was around 3k. Then, over Christmas, we went to another city, another 2-3k, as well as a Punta Cana vacation for 7k. So after all that is when she decided to ask me, and you don't need to be a genius t, realize THST she chose me because clearly, she pinned me as having the money too. Had this been my wife or long-term GF, this wouldn't have been an issue, but three months in, this was a big flag and I talked to her about it. As usual, and as a pattern throughout this relationship, she would get extremely angry, lose her cool and make me feel bad for questioning her character. So, fast forward to me actually moving into this house over a three-week period. She helped none whatsoever, never offered in my own family, friends, and people who were working at the house asked me about it Apple the time. Oh she has school, oh she texts me though and so on completely MIA until of course Friday or Saturday night where she wanted to go for dinners or go to shows, that we did, of course. One day, once her exams had tailed down and she told me she was waking up early to write a photo, I saw that she posted a sunshine kissed selfie saying, yoga, meal prep, coffee, sunshine. And I wrote her privately, you know, I feel you could have at least offered to help in some way today. Again, she loses it, tells me, you know you don't have to tell me something just because it bothers you and then eventually she says, and I will never forget this ever, don't you think you're expecting a little much of me for 7 eighths months of dating? I was shocked. For some reason, pressuring your BF for a $4,000 loan 3 months in, but offering help in any way over a 3 week period is too much. I called it off, decided I don't need her and this relationship wouldn't work with this set of values we don't share. A couple of days later, after trying whatever she could to flip this whole fight on me, constantly changing the goalpost as a pattern I had identified and made her aware of repeatedly over those 7 eighths months, she eventually showed up unannounced, apologizing profusely, and apparently seeming to genuinely recognize that it wasn't right, and she could have offered. I took some of the responsibility, why once she did, and said that maybe, I could have been more direct as to when and how. We resolved, we started to laugh again, this was a fight that we would learn from we both said. Well, last week we disagreed for another simple issue, and she blew up as she does, yelling, calling my life chaotic, calling me everything she can think of, and then says she resents me for wanting her to help with the house when she had exams. Basically she took back the apology fully and stormed out of the house, I did not chase her. I did not text her, and I did not want to negotiate at all anymore. The next morning she said she acted like that because I told her she was fucked. TBH, I don't remember saying that, but I probably did as she was having a massive blow up. I apologized for saying that she is fucked because after all, whatever I do is in my control and tried my very best to get her to see that blowing up like that, is her behavior to be accountable for. That's when she shared the original thread. Again, no words, shocked that for a couple of weeks in the background she had been farming all these comments about me, sharing our personal stuff and curating it in a way to make herself look like, you guessed it, a victim whose boyfriend bought her a house? We met off hinge. She asked to borrow 3k from me 3 months in, and I told her since then that it just didn't look good at all, and I'd hate to have something like that I couldn't even share with my friends, family. The facts are that she only shared as the relationship went on, she is over 40k in debt, got fired from her nursing job because the educator had it in for her, missed out on receiving funding from the school because of their online portal, wasn't able to apply to graduate because the school didn't let her know properly, hates her parents even though they gave her a car, paid for her exams and other failed attempts at schooling in the past, told me that her last relationship was toxic, and she didn't see a future with him but stayed with him for 3 years and when they broke up, he threatened to jump off their building, same building she currently lives in where one bedroom costs more than my previous mortgage did for the 12 years that I paid it. Overall, yes I had reason to play it slow with her. I didn't want her moving in on a technicality, or making me responsible for all her bills or getting trapped if things didn't work out. I didn't buy her a house, I bought my house, in cash, paid in full and she was well aware that. I bought a house because I had settling down in my current city in mind after meeting and had hoped it would work out. But here she is complaining about if she would have an office in it, for, nursing? A shoe room? I have 25 pairs of shoes in a closet. The spare bedroom would be for a baby's room, possibly if my future half is comfortable with that. 
Discussions would be had but I realized that discussions would never be had with her. She has rage in her mind, a wild sense of entitlement and at present time is currently getting evicted from her apartment, and has no full-time job but all the time in the world to make Reddit posts for validation.